Hi, my name is Claudia Q, and representing the Audacity Academy and Eternity Band. Today, I'll be doing a presentation on the Lunar New Year. The Lunar New Year is an important festival in many Eastern Asian countries. It's a yearly festival of love, joy, culture, and tradition, and an occasion of family and social bonding. In Chinese, it's called Cunjie, or Spring Festival, and it signifies the start of a new agricultural yearly cycle. And this agricultural yearly cycle is controlled by the lunar calendar, which is an agricultural calendar that tells farmers tasks to do every solar term. And there's 24 solar terms in this calendar. It's more related to solar cycles than moon phases. Uh, it's most celebrated in East Asia and influenced by Chinese culture. And it's also featured in Hindu Buddhist calendars, Islamic calendars, and Jewish calendars. In Chinese, uh, passing of the year is Guanyin, where Nian is a monster that is scared of red color and loud sound. And in this picture here, uh, there's the rat, the year of the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. So every year there would be a year of uh, one of the animal zodiacs. This year is the year of the tiger. Uh, so if you were born in 1986, 1998, 2010, or 2022, you would be on the year of the tiger. I'm born in 2008, so I'd be the year of the rat. Uh, this is a table of the animals correlating to the yin and yang and the fixed elements. The tiger correlates to yang and the wood. And I'm shu, oh, which is rat, and I correlate to yang and water. So in the, the Lunar New Year festivals can be celebrated from five to even 14 days, uh, but the most important days are the tushi, and to eat. So Tushi is the New Year's Eve. It's a time when everyone gets back home for reunion. And for many, it's the only time of the year they get to see their family because they work abroad. Uh, during this time, people clean the house and decorate it with spring couplets, stickers, lanterns, and a lot of red color. And the mothers and the grandmothers cook the best food of the year. Um, also, there's gonna be a spring couplet window stickers and Chinese calligraphy demonstration coming up. And there's already a, a la Red Lantern making video on the Eternity Band channel. And also uh, during the night of the Tushi, people have a big feast of the year. And during the, in the North, people eat jiaozi or dumpling. And in the South, people eat chicken, duck, pork, or fish. Also, there's gonna be a jobs uh, demonstration also in the variety show later on. Um, during this time, also the children uh, enjoy the fireworks and firecrackers. And the parents hide red pockets under the children's pillows as a surprise in the morning. So yeah, the next day is to eat or New Year's Day. And, and that's when the kid discovers the red pocket, which is kind of like a Christmas unwrapping moment. And uh, during the new year, people wear new clothing, deliver gifts to people, and say well wishes to everyone. Uh, during these five to four relaxing days, you enjoy the festival, uh, listen to the music, uh, watch dragon dancing, so on, and get ready for another busy year after the festival. Um, this Lunar New Year festival is not just culture. It's a major in political, social, and economic implication. A large chunk of the GDP from major consumption spike over the several weeks because people are traveling, uh, they're buying uh, gifts, they're going to restaurants, they're going to look at entertainment. Uh, so it's like a thermometer of economic prosperity and social stability. And that wraps up my presentation. If you want any, if you want the slides or research doc, email admin.goaudacity.com. 
祝大家兔年大吉，万事如意，身体健康。And yeah, happy New Year.